Hi, today I'm going to be demoing the Follow My Vote voting booth, the voting platform of the future. To use the Follow My Vote voting booth, you would go to followmyvote.com, download and install the software. From there, you would open up the software and it would just look just like you see here, a screen that welcomes you to the Follow My Vote voting booth. It says this application will securely register your identity for anonymous voting, record and submit your votes, and provide you with an ID which may be used to verify that your vote was cast as intended and counted as cast. It says you also need a government issued ID card in order to cast your vote in the Follow My Vote voting booth. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next step, which is to have your identity verified. Now this is similar to the same process you would follow if you were to go to the polls on election day um, in a state where you had to verify your ID would be to check in and take a picture of yourself just like you would um, show up at the at the booth you would present your ID card to the poll worker which I'm going to simulate by taking a picture here of my front of my driver's license and the back of my driver's license just so that both sides can be verified as legitimate so now that I got my all of my identity information, I'm going to submit and say next and submit it to the identity verifier. You can see right now that the uh, my ballot is being prepared, and I've been assigned a voter ID key. I'm going to switch roles now and actually go through the process of verifying an ID. So the identity verifier would actually be able to zoom in on the picture of the person and as well as the ID card, and be able to compare the two to make sure they match. Then the next step would be to look up the voter name on the ID card um, in the list of voters, registered voters, that would be connected to this system for this particular election. We're just going to pretend that I am Jack Philip Allen here. Um, because my name is not actually listed in this this name of reg a list of registered voters So I'm entering in an ID number and an expiration date and I'm going ahead and click accept So the verifier has now accepted my identity and you can go back to the voting booth and you can see um, That my identity has been accepted and an honestly registered to vote You can see that my D key has been mapped to, mapped to my information and that for information is securely stored and can be retrieved at a later date. This password will actually allow me um, to re-enter the voting booth at a later date and change my votes in the days leading up to election if I wanted to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through the ballot quickly and make my selections for who I want in these particular contests. This is a ballot that was actually used um, in the statewide general election in the county of Inyo in the November midterms elections of last year. So I don't want to go through every single one of these. I think you guys can pretty much get the point, but I do want to, to demonstrate um, write-ins. Um, we have added that ability for do write-in candidates in this system, just like you would be able to write in your um, candidate of choice in a normal election. I'm going to write myself in there. Also wanted to demonstrate that this will obviously support um, contests with multiple candidates. Um, it also does measures, as um, some elections include, depending on what precinct that you're in. I'm going to go through now the step of verifying um, your selections before actually casting your vote. And then casting my vote. You can see that my ballot has been successfully cast. And one cool feature about the Follow My Vote ballot box is that... Um, you can actually dive in and follow your vote into the ballot box and confirm that your vote was actually cast as intended. So you can see that this has been pre-filtered for my ID, which you can see um, is shown there at the bottom associated with my ID. You can see the last four digits of my ID. I just want to show you, go back to the voting booth and show you that is a perfect match. Um, so that is in fact my vote in the ballot box for the particular person that I wanted to vote for in this contest. Just want to jump quickly to 
the contest where I wrote myself in as a write-in candidate. So you can see my name is actually listed there. It's not because that's my voter ID, but that's because that's what I put as the write-in candidate for that particular vote. So I want to get, don't want you to get that confused. Um, now, what I'd like to go ahead and do is demonstrate the ability to change your vote. So I'm going to shut the voting booth down, reopen it, and copy and paste in here um, my passphrase. And that's going to allow me to pull up my information. Um, I've already been through this process before, so I can just go ahead and skip right to the next um, step here. Um, I voted for Paul Cook last time, so now I'm going to change my vote to Bob Con Conaway and click Next. And we're going to open up the ballot box again and, s and verify that, that vote, my vote was actually changed and is now voting for Bob Conaway. You can scroll down here and see, yes, my original vote was for Paul Cook, but it has been grayed out. And in my, my vote for Bob supersedes that. You can see that um, it was made at a later date, so the voting system keeps track of exactly what date and time you cast your vote, and will consider your most recent vote your official vote in an election.